What's going on guys? I am here with my lovely guitar Leah. I wanted to share two game changing rhythm ideas. Uh, one's from John Mayer, legend. The other one's from Jimi Hendrix, uh, legend. Um, I think rhythm is kind of overlooked a lot of the time. I think it's probably the most, for me anyway, it's the most important part. Is the music, because you can't really mute me if you don't got rhythm. So, uh, I'll get right into it. The first one's a John Mayer technique. So, Mayer has some magical butterfly way of doing everything he seems to do when he touches a guitar, which is frustrating. Um, but every once in a while, we can kind of capture some of the magic he does. So the one magic that I caught in my little bottle was uh, a little bit of what his right hand does sometimes. Generally when he's kind of playing guitar by himself, he gets this kind of rhythmic slap. It's like no matter what you do, you can't not groove to something that's forcing you to. It's like I'm playing the beat whether you want it or not. And that's actually basically all a right hand technique. So this is just kind of like the bare bones to get into that style, I guess. It's not specifically something he's doing in any song, but this is kind of what set me down the... So anyway, I'll shut up and get to it. So we'll take easy progression, A minor, C major, G major. So let's say we have something like... And it's like, yeah, that's all well and fine uh, if the circumstances call for it. But if you're playing by yourself, maybe, or you're doing some kind of a solo gig, you know, you're only one guitar player in a band, spruce it up a little bit. I'll, I'll play the same thing, but I'll play my, sorry, place my thumb on the top string, skip over the A string. And then I do like this claw kind of thing going on with each finger going down on the next string. So your index finger will be on the fourth, third, second, and first all the way down like that. And then you use that as you're using those fingers specifically to hit each string. But you dedicate these you know, fingers to that string that it's on. And then if your root note of the chord, like let's say we're playing a D here, D power chord. That thumb down. So anyway, I'll go quick quickly through that one. Sorry, I forgot the most important part. So after you complete that, you come down with a, it's a natural motion as you pick off that last string, you hit, hit all of the strings down like that, a muted. And you want that, it's kind of quick right after because it, emulating a snare drum, right? Everything you're doing with this right hand is essentially based off what a drummer's doing, really. So. I'm playing with my inversions because it's easier for my big hand. C major, G major, same as the, this bar chord. So that's really, you know, start with that. And uh, if you guys like it, we'll come back to it. Getting into the moon. Moving forward, the Jimi Hendrix Inversion. Probably the most infamous, most infamous, most fucking fuck. Like, dude, when am I gonna figure out how to speak? So, uh, yeah, Jimi Hendrix Inversion. So, this one is basically based for all all things on the A string. It it just works perfectly. So the inversion is let's say we have a C tried and true the workhorse, you know what I mean? Never gonna break down. No electricity, no bells and whistles, straight. So we're gonna take this chord, the shape, 
not right chord doesn't matter but it's just the shape that matters we're gonna take all of these same notes like we're gonna try to just replace this bar with this <clears throat> so move that and then bring this finger up or your pinky finger whatever and essentially play it upside down and it's well That's why it's inverted, because it's actually upside down. Well, no. Inverted, not upside down. <laughs> right? And then even try to slide into it, it'll make it easier if you go... Then put that finger there, all ready to... So you're going from A minor, C, D, you could go, sorry, I'll do it this way. Stop it. So, he does it in like things like, uh, hey Joe, you know, right there, and it's not two different chords, it's the same chord, just one, it's a little inverted as it were, word of the day. I think Castle's made a sand to, uh, add one of these on there when you have that oh wow I can't do that backwards and in a camera and inversions and out versions so we're there you just hit both of those and then kind of using both of those together A minor straight down it's important to get that smack out that's why you gotta go to the smack you gotta get the smack you gotta get the smack so practice your smack and then come back